So I don't really think that this is a surprise to anyone. We all knew that this was coming, but now it's official. A super PAC, a dark money group, we don't know where this funding is coming from, is now spending on ads in Iowa to take down Bernie Sanders. Now, look, it became very clear to me that once poll after poll showed that he is the favorite in Iowa and also New Hampshire, there would be some type of coordinated effort to defeat Bernie Sanders. This is what, you know, a Democratic Party mega donor, Steve Ratner, said openly on MSNBC. This is what Democratic operatives are anonymously telling outlets like uh, The Washington Post and The Daily Beast. But now it's official. They are trying to take down Bernie Sanders, acknowledge that no other candidate has to deal with this. Bernie Sanders is at a unique disadvantage in the sense that no other Democrat is facing an internal attack from a Democratic-affiliated dark money group, right? Bernie Sanders is alone here. But he is uniquely advantaged in that he has a movement that no other candidate has. So they spent on this ad to take down Bernie Sanders, but I'm going to tell you the result afterwards. It didn't play how they hoped it would. The most important thing is we have to be Trump. We've seen the damage that Trump and the Republican Congress have done. I doubt if Bernie Sanders can beat Trump. I like Bernie. I think he has great ideas. But Michigan, Pennsylvania, Iowa, they're just not going to vote for a socialist. I do have some concerns about Bernie Sanders' health, considering the fact that he did have a heart attack. I think it's very important that the Democrats nominate somebody that can beat Trump. I don't feel as though Bernie Sanders would do well against Donald Trump. I just don't think Bernie can beat Trump. DMFI PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Yeah, so that was absolutely pathetic. And for those of you who feel inclined to seek out and dislike that video, uh, I already tried. Take it from me. And uh, predictably, they disabled comments and likes and dislikes, probably knowing that this ad wouldn't go over too well and that they'd probably get disliked into oblivion. But I mean, this ad shows how desperate they are. They don't even have a real argument against Bernie Sanders. They're trying to say that he's not as electable as other Democrats, we don't know necessarily who. Nonetheless, he's not electable, and they're trying to throw everything at the wall in order to see what sticks. He is a socialist. Uh, did you remember that he had a heart attack? And then we hear from Karen, who just doesn't feel like Bernie Sanders can win. Um, except, fuck your feelings, we have numbers on our side. In fact, a new poll just came out showing Bernie Sanders is competitive in Texas. Of all states, he has the best shot at turning Texas blue, and on top of that, he pulls consistently well in the Rust Belt states where Hillary Clinton lost. So they can't possibly cite a single statistic because they have nothing. If they actually argued in good faith based on data, well, it shows that Bernie Sanders is in a very good position to defeat Donald Trump. So they have to lie and come up with this type of feelings-based argument where paid actors and actresses say, uh, you know, it just it just doesn't seem like Bernie Sanders can win. Oh, okay. Well, uh, thanks for that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and not go with the advice of the people who were likely pushing for Hillary Clinton, who ultimately lost to Donald Trump. Now, if you're wondering how this played out for this dark money group, uh, the answer is not too well, because this backfired in a monumental way that even surprised me. And this article from the New York Times explains it really well. Super PAC attacks Sanders in an ad. Sanders raises $1.3 in a day. As Bernie Sanders shows strength in the early voting states, his opponents face a challenge. Attacking him can help fuel his campaign. So, to really explain, Bernie Sanders was aware of the fact that this ad was going to be ran. He put out a fundraising email and 70,000 donations came in within a day. One day. So if this group was trying to hurt Bernie Sanders, what they just did was further galvanize his support base. They made him more powerful. So to say that this backfired would be an understatement. But for more details on this, we go to Sydney Ember, and she explains this in a bit more detail in this article. She's usually biased against Bernie Sanders, but I do think that she does a fairly good job at explaining the situation objectively. Quote, a Democratic super PAC wanted to undermine Senator Bernie Sanders' presidential candidacy just days before the Iowa caucuses. It may have handed him a gift instead. Mr. Sanders' campaign said on Wednesday that it had raised more than 1.3 million since it began fundraising the day before 
off a negative ad produced by the super PAC that targets Mr. Sanders by name. The ad, backed by the political action arm of the group Democratic Majority for Israel, argues that Mr. Sanders of Vermont would be unable to beat President Trump in the November general election, citing his heart attack nearly five months ago and his left-wing ideology as evidence that he would be too risky a choice for Iowa caucus goers focused on winning back the White House. The ad was scheduled to begin airing in Iowa on Wednesday, but the Sanders campaign sent an email to supporters on Tuesday warning that Mr. Sanders was being targeted by negative ads and alluding to an outside spending group without citing Democratic majority for Israel. The Sanders campaign, like many of its rivals, often points to signs of adversity to juice donations, and Mr. Sanders' supporters responded on Tuesday with a flood of contributions. The financial windfall underscored a central challenge facing his opponents. Attacking him can help fuel his campaign. Democratic Majority for Israel is focused on raising support for Israel within the party, and the group and its allies worry that Mr. Sanders' questioning of the Democratic Party's long-standing support for Israel could damage the United States' historically strong relationship with the country. But Mark Melman, the group's president, said it was equally worried about Mr. Sanders' chances against Mr. Trump if he were to become the nominee. Actually, let me try to decode for you what they're actually saying. They're not worried that Donald Trump will beat Bernie Sanders. They're worried that Bernie Sanders will beat Donald Trump. That's what they're worried about. They know he is a threat. They know he can win. And they know that, you know, their days of secretly bankrolling campaigns with dark money, flooding elections, are going to be over if Bernie Sanders becomes the president of the United States. So they are doing everything in their power to gaslight, to lie, to smear Bernie Sanders. And guess what? As you do this, he's absorbing the blows and becoming more and more powerful. Because whenever I see a petty pundit attack Bernie Sanders, I donate five bucks to him. Whenever I see a smear piece about Bernie bros, we make more calls for Bernie Sanders. Whenever we see the Democratic Party establishment speak out and try to stop him at the behest of their donors, more volunteers knock on doors for him. We get that much more energized because guess what? We know what we're up against. We knew that having someone like Bernie Sanders get in the White House would not be an easy task. In fact, this will be the hardest thing we ever accomplish if we're successful here. So it's not like this is anything new. We anticipated it and we expected it. In fact, the only surprise to us is that these types of ad buys didn't come sooner, but they waited because they knew that if they chose to really go negative against Bernie Sanders, that this would galvanize the base. So um, once they saw that he had a real chance, that's when they decided to try and risk it and predictably didn't work out too well for them. So um, my message to them is go ahead and keep it up because this is going to help Bernie Sanders and make him stronger because whenever you fight to defeat him, we fight harder to elect him. So um, we are absolutely not rattled by this and we expect even more ads from this group as well as others because we know that moneyed interests aren't just going to roll over and allow Bernie Sanders to march to the nomination easily. We know they're going to put up a fight and we know that they're going to do everything in their power to cling on to the status quo. But guess what? We're fighting back. We are prying their fingers away from power because we don't have a choice. If we want to save the planet, if we want to save the country, save democracy in America, literally, we don't have a choice. We have to fight even harder. And whenever they try to uh, punch us, we're going to counterpunch. And I guarantee you that we're going to land those blows against them. So I will leave you with a message from Bernie Sanders, who basically tells all of these moneyed groups that, you know, if they're nervous, they should be nervous because we're coming for them. It is no secret that our campaign is taking on the political establishment and the big money interests who are now running negative ads against us in Iowa. The billionaire class is getting nervous, and they should. Under our administration, there will be real campaign finance reform so that billionaires will not be able to buy elections as they're trying to do right now. Under our administration, the wealthy and the powerful will begin paying their fair share of taxes. The drug companies will no longer rip off the American people. The fossil fuel industry will not continue destroying our planet. And healthcare will become a human right, not a means for insurance companies 
to make billions. The big money interests can run all the negative ads they want, but it's not going to work. The people in Iowa and across America are sick and tired of status quo politics, and they want a government that will work for all of us, not just wealthy campaign contributors. Our opponents may have endless amounts of money, but we have the people, and our grassroots movement will prevail.